Hello everybody. So today we are making smash burgers. Not just any smash burgers. Smash burger sliders. Smash burger sliders, which I have not made before. So this is new for me. I love smash burgers. I love sliders. Never combined the two, so this is gonna be fun. Can't wait. Great football food. We got football again this weekend. So hey, get out there with your Blackstones if you can. I know it's a little bit cold up north in some spots. It's 80 degrees out here in Miami <laughs> today. So uh, I, I'm not trying to rub it in, promise. I promise you I'm not trying to do that, but, but I am gonna take advantage. So can't wait to make these smash burgers, uh, smash burger sliders, and we're gonna get right to it. Super simple dish, easy to make, nice crusty exterior. Uh, toast up them buns and they're gonna come out awesome. So if you're new to the channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also bring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you so much for all the support, I appreciate it. Keep on commenting down below and let me know what you think and interacting with us and uh, we have a good time. So everybody, let's get cooking. Let's go through the ingredients. All right, so I know that looks like a lot, but there's really not. Um, you got salt and pepper. You've got uh, we've got a onion there, sweet onion, about a half there. I'm gonna dice up real fine. I've got a pound and a half of ground chuck, 80/20. Uh, we've got some American cheese slices. I've got some some non-salted butter and some mini uh, dinner rolls actually made by the bakery at Publix. It even says on the package, great for sliders. And let me tell you, they are awesome. Um, I'm gonna toast those up. And then the toppings up there, that's the choice. Mayonnaise, mustard, uh, ketchup, and pickles. So the patties there, uh, again, 80, 20, pound and a half. My plan is to make two ounce little burger patties and uh, your normal quarter pounder is four ounces so I figure half of that size would be a perfect size for a slider so let's start with cutting up the onions uh, so we got our kuma knife there check it out on the description below in the description below to my Amazon link. This knife is awesome. It's like 20 something dollars. Comes with a sharpener and is super sharp. So we'll just go through this real quick. Uh, I like to cut one way with the grain and then against the grain and that dices them up nicely. No crying, no tears. <laughs> just some real finely chopped onions. And then here's our package. Like I said, pound and a half. Um, I want to make 12 two ounce patties or in this case little kind of like meatballs so row of three and a row of four three times four equals 12 there you go and that's roughly two ounces each and then here you don't want to I learned this on my first <laughs> smash burger video I got some advice from some uh, commenters which is great you don't want to smash or you don't want to roll these too tight you want to leave a little bit of air in there so when you do smash them down they can smash down a little bit lower and cook a little bit more evenly um, it's just better for them so we're gonna speed it up a little bit here again not too tight you can see I'm leaving nice pockets of air there I'm not like I'm not rolling it tight like a meatball it's just more of getting in the shape um, and then that's it. Uh, and then if you have some that are too big and some that are too small, you'll just steal from the big and give to the small and kind of even them out a little bit. It's not, they don't have to look perfect. They're gonna get smashed down anyway. So, and that's what they look like right there. So Blackstone is cranked up. We're gonna put down some oil. Not too much, cause the burgers have fat in them anyway, but we just wanna grease this up a little bit. And this is really more so that the butter that we're gonna use does not burn. So it's just a real fine uh, layer of oil. Spread it out really good and then 
just slide that butter. Here's another tip that I got from another subscriber. You don't have to put pads of butter down and spread them out. You just take the stick <laughs> and wipe on, wipe off, or wipe on, leave on. And look how nice and even that is. Uh, so this is actually for the buns. I, I misspoke. It's not for the burgers. This is for the buns. But I figure let's do the buns first while the grill is nice and clean uh, because you know those toasted buns are, are going to stay um, perfect once we do them. It's not like we have to toast them and get them off and then uh, heat them up right away. So they can stay at room temperature, but the toasted part of it is the key. So again, I got these buns from Publix, from the bakery. You can see, they look like mini brioche buns, and uh, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Oh, they came out absolutely amazing. Myself, personally, I don't like to over toast any kind of buns or toast for that matter. Just a light toasting for me is great, and that's kind of what I'm going for here. <clears throat> and you can see that's pretty much what I got there. So that's it. Uh, take them off and move on to the next step, which is the onions. So again, a little bit of oil. Um, just grease it up a little bit, and then we put our onions down. Diced onions, they cook pretty quick. Um, I'd say probably three minutes, maybe four, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and no need to work these too much, just kind of spread them out a little bit and flip them every once in a while, uh, and they cook pretty quick. Some people like raw onions, that's fine. I like them both. I like raw, I like a little bit cooked. For these, I'm going to give them a nice little glaze. A little translucent, not too much. I don't like I don't like overcooked onions, and then they just get soggy. So I kind of like them uh, kind of in between. So flip them up a little bit more. Now they're getting some color. This is kind of where I want to be right here. This is exactly where I'm looking to be. So give you a little close-up kind of the color what I'm looking for that's where I want to be right there again personal preference whatever you guys want These are your burgers this is just the way that I like them. that's it we take them off stick them in the bowl and we will get these uh, this is another topic for us so here we go what they look like when we are done Now, to the main event. A little bit more oil. Spread it out nice and evenly. Again, this is really uh, to make sure that the butter doesn't burn. You're going to add butter again, just like we did with the buns. And you can see the grill is a little bit heated up. Uh, more than before, which is great. That's kind of where you want to be. You want to get that nice sear. I have the grill now on medium. You don't want too hot. You don't want too low. You kind of want a nice medium, and you can see that butter bubbling, and that's what you're looking for. And then that's it. We put our smash burgers down, <clears throat> our smash balls at this time. <laughs> uh, kind of like the bread. Four and three. So four across. I'm sorry, three across and four up and down and, and four times three equals 12 and that's just enough room for this uh, 22 inch Blackstone to accommodate. So I love it, 12 smash burgers on the 22 inch Blackstone is good for me. So the first thing you wanna do is season them. I'm sorry, first thing you wanna do is smash them down. That is parchment paper. And that fancy smash burger lid there is nothing more than the top of one of my saucepans. <laughs> and uh, it works, so <laughs> there's no need for me to go out and buy one of these $10 to $15 
smash devices when I can just use this. And it's see-through, which is pretty cool. I mean, they don't sell any see-through smash burger smashers or whatever they call them, presses. So that's it. You want to, you're supposed to hold them down for 10 seconds, but I think if you just get them flat, uh, you know, the hot griddle is going to do the rest. So you want to go through, smash them all down about the same amount. You don't want to go down too hard because then you're going to have a giant flat pancake. But then again, you don't want to go down too little. So you just kind of have to eyeball it. And this is where rolling it a little bit looser really helped out uh, for me anyway. Rolling the, uh, the burgers. And that's it. They are all smashed out. They look great. And man, <laughs> you can hear that sizzle. This is, the, this is the fun part for me. So now we want to season these up. Some salt and pepper. Nothing fancy here, just salt and pepper. I love this salt shaker, uh, electric, electric salt shaker, battery operator actually. Uh, that's also in the description below, the salt and pepper shakers. They're just real convenient. It's like a, it's like an assembly line. It's like a, we're, making, uh, we're making burgers on an assembly line here. Nice and even, perfect amount of time, and boom, looking good. And literally, once, uh, here's a little close up, you can see the ones on the right there, the, uh, the liquid starting to come through, that's when you know it's almost time to turn them. Once that liquid comes through, it's almost like a pancake. Once it starts bubbling through like there, you, can, you know that's when that crust is nice and brown on the bottom. So here we go. Uh, Check it real quick, looks great. Let's give it the turn. There's that crust. And this is where you get that flavor, that crust. Oh, that dark brown crust is just awesome. So you wanna flip them real quick. You wanna get down and scrape underneath. These did not really stick too much because my, my Blackstone is really seasoned well, so I don't have any issues with that. But if it's not, you really want to put that 45 degree angle and give it some pressure under there so uh, you don't lose half the burger when you're trying to flip it and you don't lose that sear, which is the most important part. So you flip it over here <clears throat> like this. Here's a little close up of what it looks like. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> that looks great. Beautiful. And then that's it. We add our cheese. Speed it up a little bit. I used a half a slice on each one and it was just the right size. And uh, once I put them on, I did shut this lid to get the tops melted because we don't want these to overcook. So looks great shut the lid after literally a minute or two check them and boom they are beautiful and then here's a last close-up one by one you can see how great these came out look at that cheese is a little bit uh a little bit crispy on the outsides as well man that is going to give some amazing flavor in addition to the crust on the burger and I cannot tell you how great these came out, so we're going to check them out right now. Let's go give them a taste. Hoo-wee! We got ourselves some Smash Burger Sliders. Man, I love these things. I have never made a Smash Burger Slider. I've made sliders, I've made smash burgers, but man, these look awesome. They were fun to make, and I, I, I gotta try them. So let's give it a shot right now. These beautiful rolls. Oh, look at that perfect size, little mini burgers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. That is awesome. Let me tell you how I built these. 
Mayonnaise on the bottom. Pickles on the bottom. Onions on top, ketchup and mustard on top. Oh, that is so tender and juicy. And the crusty, these little rolls, oh, they're amazing. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's so good. You make this for some friends when they come over to watch a football game? Oh my god. Everybody, I want to thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.